Say it, baby. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Cheryl and Vinny and welcome to our vlog. And today we're gonna have our progesterone in oil um, injection and my husband here, Vinny, is gonna show us how to do it. That is a little mm. painless and we'll see, alright? Yeah, it's gonna be painless. I've done it plenty of times already where it didn't yes, hurt, this right? Is probably our fifth day we started yes. Saturday right and tomorrow we're getting ready for our frozen transfers so I hope this video will help everyone who is um, who are into uh, the same journey with us the <laughs> IVF so all right let's check this out okay let's do it Maybe what are we gonna need for today's projects progesterone in oil <laughs> so let's try to see what is what do we mm -hmm. have in here? First, we have progesterone and oil. Mm -hmm. We have our drawing. Uh, we have our syringe with our drawing needle already attached to it, mm -hmm. out of the package. This will be your injection syringe, which is you know a lot thinner and a better gauge, and you know it'll hurt a lot less when I stick you. Mm -hmm. And your alcohol pads for sterilization. What's the size of this um, needle, by the way? The size of this needle. It looks like. It's an 18 gauge syringe, with and, this, and this, this one, one is an 22 gauge. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So first things first, you want to take your syringe. Or actually, first thing you want to do is you want to take your progesterone oil and you want to rub the top of it with an alcohol pad. Now, if you're starting with a new one, there's going to obviously be a little metal cap on top of this. So you just, you know, pop that off and then, you know, rub the top of it with the alcohol pad like so. But since we've opened this before and used it, there's no cap. So just go ahead and rub that with alcohol. And I should mention that, you know, your hands should already have been washed and sterilized, which mine are. So mm -hmm. you didn't get to see that in the video, but... So once you have your syringe out of the package, I always like to give it a little twist just to make sure that the syringe is on, you know, tight and proper already. Take your cap off and you stick it into your progesterone. Well, first actually, draw back air into the syringe equal to the amount of, you know, uh, progesterone that you need to. So since we're doing one milliliter, I'm going to draw the plunger back here to one milliliter before I go and stick it in here. It'll just make it easier to draw the fluid out once you go ahead and put that in there. All right, so now we have our syringe in here. You push the air into the syringe, and then slowly draw your progesterone and oil out into the syringe. And we're doing a 50 milligram, correct, right? I think it's five milligrams, or five one milliliter. milliliter. Yeah, all right. If that's what the... Uh, that's my bad, that's yeah. not 50. <laughs> Alright, now I always like to draw a little bit more than what's needed so that way I can just push it back into the bottle and get us in there. Let's go ahead here. Alright, so now we have one milliliter. And you know, just check for air bubbles and make sure that you get rid of the air bubbles by tapping the syringe like so. Now once you do that, you go ahead and take your cap, put that back on. And you unscrew that part. Now, if I can open this properly, go ahead and put the injection syringe on there, nice and tight, and pull your cap off. And then what I you know like to do is just to give a little bit of a push on the syringe here, just to make sure any last drops of air are out and. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is a droplet of the liquid that's flowing mm -hmm. down the needle now, and that tells you that there is no air in your syringe. So from this point on, you're ready to go for the injection. Temporarily, I'm going to put the cap back on here just to keep everything you know, nice and safe while we put this aside. And now we get ready for the injection. Okay, everybody, so now we're getting ready to do our injection. Um, this is an intramuscular injection, so um, there are many places in the body that you can do this. Um, our doctor re recommended the upper outer quadrant of the butt, so that's where I'll be doing you know this injection. But uh, you know, as always, consult with your doctor for them to give you the best and most appropriate place for you to do your injection. And we're doing the 50 milligram. 
probably. Yes, yeah, so it's 50 milligrams. I know in the last video I said five, but I uh, kind of miscalculated. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you know, the, the vial that they gave us was 10 milliliters, 500 milligrams, so each milliliter is 50 milligrams. So, I mean, that's, that, that's neither here or there. That, your doctor will talk to you about how much you should be injecting yourself, but for us it's going to be one milliliter. All right, so now that I have my wife's butt properly exposed here, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off the syringe and I am going to, whoa, I almost forgot the most important part here okay. and this is good that like you know that I'm, I'm doing this, that. yes, alcohol prep pad. You must always prep the area that you're going to be injecting because it would be terrible to give in, you know, give your wife or significant other any type of an infection and we definitely do not want that to happen so go ahead and sterilize the butt here. Okay, now we can take the cap off our syringe, and I've already prepped it from before, as you've seen. And what you want to go ahead and do is, like I said, locate the upper outer quadrant of the butt, and go ahead and just go, you know, like a dart, go down three, baby, ready? One, two, three. See, you just poke her right there. Now, you want to draw back a little bit on the syringe to make sure that you don't get any blood because if you do get blood, that means that you hit a blood vessel and that's not good because, as I said, we're doing an intramuscular injection here. All right, so I'm drawing back and all I'm getting is air bubbles, which is good. So from this point, you can go ahead and start to inject. Just push down nice and slow. You don't want to do it too fast. All right just about there and there so now you just pull the needle out again recap it and then I'm gonna take another alcohol pad and I'm gonna to start to put pressure on the area where I injected and it's like you know give it a slight massage just to work that oil in um, what you can also do is you can take a heating pad after you're done like you know putting a little bit of a massage here you can take a heating pad and rub it on the area that you've done the injection in order to you know spread the oil out and have it like absorb quim more quickly and that's basically it how did that feel baby painless yes yeah see as long as like you know you inject it in the right spot it will be really really less pain or no pain at all I mean yeah. you could it, feel the, the a little pinch of that needle of course but it's tolerable yeah. if you're feeling any type of extra pain or if you're feeling a lot of pain when you're doing it then you know you might not be doing it correctly so you know again consult with your doctor to make sure that you're injecting in the proper area and that you're uh, you know doing it properly and that looks like we should be good from here Alright, so you're all done. Until the next injection, baby.